Captain Guang has been recognized as one of the role models in preserving Tan singing, a distinctive musical genre of the Nung and Thai ethnic groups in northern mountainous provinces of Vietnam. Tun Guang has been not only successful in preserving Tan singing, but also made the art form more popular and become part of the country's heritage. Tan singing is melody from heaven, making it an art of religious nature to pray to heaven to ask for bumper crops, peaceful and wealthy life. Duyên Quang province has placed importance to teaching Tan singing, considering this a key and regular task to preserve the folk genre. Such courses have been organized by Duyên Quang province for many years. Participants at the courses are cultural workers who are members of villages or teams. After each course, these participants will teach Tan singing to other people in their localities. Since 2012, the Culture Center has opened such a training course every one year. In 2018, the course took place at Chim Ho District Culture Center, providing learners with basic knowledge of ten singing and tunes indigenous to Tuyen Quang Province. Each artisan invited to teach ten singing also shares the meaning of each song, helping learners have a better understanding and performance of the art form. Ten song praises the relationship between people and between people and nature. In ten song, love is expressed in a profound and romantic way. Ten song also criticizes bad habits. Tuyên Quang Province has encouraged the establishment of ten singing clubs to gather the lovers of the art genre. There are more than 70 clubs in the locality, raising the number of people practicing the traditional art to 1,500. Ten singing clubs play a very important role in, in preservation of the art form. At these clubs, learners not only learn how to sing, but also how to teach the art to other people. In 2012, the ceremony of the day ethnic people in Tuyên Quang province was included in the list of national intangible cultural heritage. Along with teaching, Tuyên Quang province also organized activities to promote Tan singing, including a singing festival, an exhibition, workshops and presentation of ancient Tan songs. Duyên Quang is working with the Vietnam National Academy of Music to make a dossier submitted to UNESCO for recognition of Tan singing as intangible cultural heritage of humanity.